everyone, welcome to Liquid Art and to this tutorial today. Everything is going to be taught step by step. It's an acrylic paint, so please just paint at your own speed and just have fun with it. So I'm just going to talk you through everything we're going to need really quickly here. If you want to change up any colours, by all means do so, but I'm just going to take you through this one for now. So first you're going to need your little canvas board or a piece of paper stuck down completely up to you what you want to use. We've then got a pot of water. We also have... Um, some kitchen roll, we've then got two paint brushes, just make sure you break the bristles at the end so they move nicely. And then we've got our palette, this is covered in cling film for easy cleaning and we've got the um, acrylic colours, black, white, yellow, red, blue and some sky blue. By all means if you want to do different colours go for it and just adapt as you go. So first off we are going to take our small paintbrush today, give it a really good wash and a little bit of a dry on our kitchen roll. This is just to take off the excess water. You're then going to take a little bit of white and sky blue and mix it together. And all we're going to do is we're just going to mark out where our kind of horizon waterline is here. So I'm just bringing this gently across. And then I'm going to mark out where our kind of like rocky island is here. So I'm just dabbing my paintbrush along, creating this kind of little shape. Once you've done that, give your paintbrush a really nice wash for me and then put it towards the side. And then we'll get started on the rest of our colours. So now I'm going to take the big paintbrush, give it a really good wash again, just make sure it's nice and clean. Now we're going to take some red, a little bit of the darker blue, mix it together to make a purple shade. You want to use a little bit more blue than you would purple, this makes it more purple, otherwise it will go a bit more roony colour. And some white and mix it together to make a lighter purple. Once this colour is all nicely mixed together, you're going to bring it across the top of your canvas here. You might need a little bit more water just to make it move a little bit better. And you're going to bring it around kind of halfway down that sky area. Then I want you to start adding some white to this and you're just going to brush side to side and it will blend together for you. Just keep adding a little bit more white so it comes a little bit lighter as it gets towards the bottom of this kind of skyline area. Just using a tiny bit more white here and just letting it blend with my brush. You just want to make sure your brush is nice and clean when you want to blend or you're using whatever the lightest colour is and it will blend it a little bit better for you. Now I'm going to take some yellow and red and mix it together to make like a light orange colour. And I'm just going to brush this straight onto this lower area just making it a little bit warmer into the sky gradient. And you're just going to bring it higher just so it blends nicely so you should have a nice purple going into an orange so once this is nice and blended give your paintbrush a really good wash for me and then we'll go on to the next part so good wash good dry now we're going to take a little bit of a darker purple Kind of what you used earlier but just with less white and we're just going to build this kind of sea area here now with a little bit more of the darker purple you'll just bring in your brush kind of sideways just create like a few like ripple effects here it's more like a shadow of the rocks so you're just adding this really nice and gently, you don't want to do loads, just using the edge of your brush to do so. Now with my smaller brush that's nice and clean, I'm just tidying up that horizon line. Sometimes you might want to use your finger just to take away any excess paint. If it's there, if it's not, don't worry about it. Now I'm just going to wash my paintbrush and what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to create the colour of these rocks. So we want a brown colour. To make a brown you want to mix all the primary colours, so that's yellow, red and blue together to make a brown tone. Um, the more of kind of each colour you use, so if you use like more yellow and blue it makes it a little bit greener. If you use too much red it obviously goes a little bit too red. 
So I also added some white into here as well. You can make whatever tone you want. I'm going to use a little bit of brown to begin with and then I'm mostly going to use black and like a bit of a grey as well. So I'm just going to dab this on for now. And the beauty of acrylic paint is if you don't like a colour you can always kind of add white to it or paint over it again in just a few minutes, let it dry and just use whatever colour you want again. So I'm just playing about with this. I'm using a little bit more of a grey this time. So that's yellow and black together. Sorry, white and black together. Uh, and you're just going to use this on kind of the top half of these rocks. Just nice and gently. And wash your brush off if it's got a bit too much of the wrong colour in it. And then going to take a little bit of black. You can wait for this to dry or use a hairdryer to dry it first if you want to. And then come back to this step. But I'm using this as kind of like a shadow on the lower half of these rocks. So this should give you a really nice little rock pattern. And then once you've done that, wash your paintbrush. Take some of that sky blue again and some white and I'm just going to brush just a little bit down here just breaking up the water so it looks a little bit clearer in front of you and like whilst it's in the foreground you want it to be like a different colour than the purple. So I'm just doing a little bit on here. You can go as dark or as light as you want, completely up to you and I'm going to go over some of the purple a little bit. Again you can either blend it in with a small paintbrush that's nice and clean or you can use your finger. Now we're going to get started on our branches, so just wash your paintbrush for me, grab a little bit of the dark purple, you can add a bit of black into this if you want to, but I'll stick with the purple for now, and we're just going to play about with some branches, okay? So we're going to try and keep these not like a super wiggly or anything like that, you want them to be quite straight, and basically with branches, you do one and then like a branch comes off that one, like if you think of like the letter Y shapes, that's what you're aiming for, so you do kind of like one branch, then you'd bring like a little bit off that and a little bit off that and a little bit off that if you want to. Less will be more with this, you just want to do like a little bit to begin with and then go from there. So with these kind of branches you can do as many or as little as you like, they can go across the whole of the canvas if you want, they can just be little, completely up to you. I wouldn't have them coming in from all directions, I'd kind of keep them kind of from the same area I think works best. Um, and you can stick with the purple if you want, you can go lighter, you can go darker. In a minute we're going to go in with a bit more black, but it's completely up to you. The kind of the further away it is, the lighter they'll be, so it'll look like it's further away closer it is the darker it will be so it looks more like a silhouette and like it's being shadowed that's why you use the black so before we go on to this black area I'm just bringing off a few little more branches and what we're going to do is we're going to do our trees as well so what's going to go on this island here so I'm just going to do one or two kind of little black kind of branches just to begin with just makes a few more look a little bit more prominent than the others And again, they're just branching off. You're just pulling a few little ones. Try not to make like a fork shape. Try and only do like one or two coming off rather than like three. It looks a bit weird. Like it looks like a fork prong. It doesn't look quite right. So you just want to do like one or two just bouncing off. And you can make the branches look thicker when like from where they're coming from and then thinner as they pull away. It kind of makes it look a little more natural that way. So 
So now we're going to take a little bit more of that lighter purple and we're just going to create a few of our little trees here. So all they're doing is we're just doing like a line upwards just to mark the kind of stem of the tree, like the trunk of the tree. So we're just doing a few lines up. I'm only doing three I think here. If you want to do more or less that's absolutely fine. But next we're going to make a green. So that's going to be yellow and the darker blue and mix it together to make that green colour. Again you can use any shade you want. We're going to use the green and then we'll use some black to kind of shade it out. And you're just going to dance it outwards a little bit. So you start at the top nice and thin and it gets a bit thicker as it goes towards the bottom of the tree. So I'm just going to dance it backwards and forwards just to create these branches. You don't want them like super thick. You don't want to like colouring a triangle or anything like that. You just want to do like a few little bits. And you're just going to repeat this on each of the trees and then we'll come back to this in a minute. So now we're going to give this some depth and create some shading. So I'm just going to take a little bit of black on my small paintbrush and I'm just going to brush into the water just a little bit. This is creating a bit of a shadow on the water. Remember it's got like a bit of a ripple effect. So I'm kind of breaking it up so you can still see parts of the water and this is just kind of the reflection of the tree a little bit. And then I'm going to go back into the tree and I'm just going to dab a little bit of the black on here. Remember your sun is kind of like coming behind these trees, so like off in the distance. Uh, so the black kind of works as a shadow which is why the reflection is also going this way as well. And you're just going to repeat this on each of these as well. So now our trees and our rocks are coming together nicely, it looks a little bit more realistic as well. I'm just taking a little bit more purple into my sea, you don't have to if you're happy with yours though. I'm just, I just wanted the colour to be a little bit different, that was all. And then I'm going to take just a smidge of white into this as well. It's just kind of creating a few different textures going on in the water. You could absolutely use a little bit more black, a little bit more blue, completely up to you what you want to do with it. I'm just adding a little bit more in so it ties the kind of the front half of the water to the back half as well. So for the next part here I'm adding some leaves, you don't have to do this bit if you don't want to, if you want to leave them without that's absolutely fine as well. I'm just taking some purple so that's uh, the red and the blue and a little bit of black as well um, just to dab these on. All I'm doing is just pressing the end of my brush and it will just make these leaf shapes for you. You can play about with this, you can kind of dab them anyway, all different directions, or uh, use the tip of your brush to kind of like really take the shape of the leaves. If you press down, it will do that for you. So it's completely up to you what you want to do here. Uh, you just want to keep them around the leaves, try not to like cover the branches too much you want to kind of keep them in like bunches rather than like going all the way around and outlining them because they look a little bit furry in that case when you do that So once you finish with your branches, we're just going to do a few last little touches. So I'm just doing a little bit more of the kind of blacky purple, just a little bit along the water here. I'm going to do a little bit more in a minute. I'm also going to use some light colours in a second as well, but it's completely up to you whether you want to do this or not.
So I'm just going to take a little bit more of these kind of dark purple colours into the water here just to make it look like there's a little bit more of a shadow on, there's a bit more going on in the water and I'm just breaking it up a little bit more. So you want to keep these nice and like kind of longish strokes, you don't want them to be kind of like short and stubby, you want them to be a little bit longer. I'm just creating this now. Really nicely just taking shape here. And then once you've done that, we are pretty much done, guys. I'm just going to do a tiny bit more blue. Again, you don't have to if you don't want to. But I really hope you've all enjoyed this. We'd love to see how you did. So please share it. Share the video. Tag us. It's RV Liquid Art on Instagram and Facebook. And we just love to see what you've done. Uh, there's more videos on our channel. Please go and check them out and please subscribe um, and like this video as well. We also have our um, virtual drinking and painting parties and we have in-person ones too. So if you'd like to join us and you get to kind of hang out with us online uh, whilst we paint and we drink, we'd love to see you there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did and you should have a lovely little painting to go home with you.